Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 3 to the power x squared minus 2x plus 2 equals 5 to the power x, and we're going to be solving for x values. Now, first of all, notice that x does not equal 0. Now, why is that important? Because if x is 0, the right-hand side equals 1, but the left-hand side does not equal 1. Sometimes we get that situation, that's why I wanted to check. And also, for another reason, it's good to check that x does not equal 0. Because the next thing I'm going to do is raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to give us something nicer. When we do this, x times 1 over x is going to be 1, so the variables are going to cancel out. And we're going to be getting something nicer because we're only going to have the variable on one side and we can kind of handle that. All right, we know that x does not equal 0, and we're going to be solving this equation. The best method to solve these kinds of equations is to use logarithms, right? You can use any base you want, but in this case, using base 3 would be meaningful because we have the base as 3 on the left-hand side. So let's go ahead and log both sides with base 3, or you can just directly use the definition of logs, which is going to give you pretty much the same thing. Okay, great. So now I can move this stuff to the front and log 3 with base 3 is going to be 1. So this gives me x squared minus 2x plus 2 over x is equal to log 3, 5, whatever you want to say, call that. Okay. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'd like to turn this into a quadratic equation. So let's go ahead and do that. And also at the same time, I want you to notice that when I said x equals 0 is not a solution or x does not equal 0, notice that the left-hand side is actually always positive because this can be written as x minus 1 squared plus 1. And as you know, this is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, it's always a positive quantity, which means it can never be 0. Okay, let's go ahead and cross multiply. And then let's put everything on the same side and put it together. So the coefficient of x is going to be this one. And now we do get a quadratic equation. Now one of the first things uh, that's important is we said that, okay, the left-hand side, the exponent on the left-hand side can uh, not be zero, but it can't be negative either. So it's always positive. What is that supposed to mean? Well, if you think about it, uh, 3 to the power something and the power is always positive, that means the expression on the left-hand side is always greater than 1, which means 5 to the power x is also greater than 1, which means that x must be positive. So our x values has to be positive. Let's just take note on that one. When we solve this equation, we have to make sure that all the solutions are greater than 0. You can also look at it this way if you consider the graph of 5 to the power x, it's going to look like this, pretty much. It's going to have a y-intercept here at 0, 1. And notice that the y values are greater than 1 if x is positive. Okay, that's why x has to be greater than 0. To solve this equation, I'm going to use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula tells me that x can be written as negative b plus minus the square root of b squared. So I'm going to take that expression and square minus 4ac, which is 8, and all over 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this expression a little bit, see what happens. Log 3, 5 plus 2, plus minus. Now here, we're going to square the expression, so it's going to give me log 3, 5 quantity squared plus... 4 times log 5 with base 3, plus 4 minus 8, it's just going to give me minus 4 there. And then all of that is going to be divided by 2. Okay? Now, from here we get two solutions, but we just need to make sure that our solutions are both positive. And how do we make sure that, right? Well, with the, minus, with the plus sign, it shouldn't be a problem because all the quantities here are positive, we get good solutions and so on and so forth. But what about the minus sign? So we need to make sure that this expression right here is 
greater than zero, all right? Because that, that's the x value. The bottom doesn't matter. If the numerator is positive, the whole thing is positive. Now, how can we verify this? Well, we can basically do the following. We can just assume that this is true or just check, put a question mark here. Is this true? You know, uh, let's put the expression, uh, radical expression on the right hand side. And then square both sides and this is going to give you this quantity squared plus four times this plus four. And you're going to notice that this is actually positive because the expression on the right hand side is definitely smaller than the expression on the left hand side because this is a positive four. That's a negative four. So this is true. And both of our solutions are going to be positive. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.